Some people want to visit Mars, but for me, that's not enough. Today, I'm going to be traveling outside of our entire solar system. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Celt A Singularity. You guys have been asking me to play this game for over a year, and I am finally back. So first things first, let's go back to the beyond. Like I said, today, I'm going to be leaving the solar system. I want to see if we can find a new star, maybe a new galaxy. I'm not exactly sure. Now, I haven't played this game in... In forever. Yes, I want to double my earnings. That's fantastic. Right now I have 37 SX. I'm not exactly sure what that there's music now. I don't know if they had music before. Okay, well, that's fine. I can already see that I can invent Uranus. I don't know about uh, invent. I think it's probably more discover. I'm, I, I did not make Uranus. I think Uranus was there. I just found it. So let's go to Uranus. Bam! And you can actually see there is a little bit of a ring around Uranus. It's either Uranus or you know the other one, but I don't want YouTube to demonetize me for saying the other name. Okay, so let's zoom back out. How much money do I still have? I still have 36 SX. So, oh, there's a secret planet over here. So to unlock the secret planet, I need to rank up Uranus two times. It's got a cold atmosphere. Yeah, I probably could have figured that one out considering it's... How far away is it from the sun? It's 5 AU from the sun. 5 astronomical units. Is that what AU stands for? I actually don't remember. I haven't been in college in a long time. If you want to see more Celta Singularity on the channel, hit that like button right now and subscribe also. Oh, I saw, I saw something. Yes, click it. Click it. What did it give me? It gave me 160 quadrillion. Really? Can't you tell that I am way beyond quadrillions? No, no, no. Get out of here with that nonsense. Okay, so let's, uh, what is the cold atmosphere? Uranus has the coldest atmosphere in our solar system, reaching temperatures as low as negative 220 degrees Celsius. I thought it was cold in the winter at my house. Okay, you know what? This um, astronomical music in the background is annoying me. Can I change that? Music off. Steve, if you're editing this video, put your own music in now. All right, so let's see if I have enough to rank up Uranus twice. I... Oh, man. Oh, this is getting expensive. Dude, I haven't played this game in, like, a year, and I have just been adding up Stardust this entire time, and I can't even get past Uranus? I can't even unlock whatever the next one is? What's that gonna be? Neptune? I don't know what the next planet is after Uranus. I think it's Neptune. Yeah, probably Neptune, but you know what? Maybe not. Okay, let's rank it up as much as we can go. We can go to 14. Okay, well, you guys told me about a little... I'm gonna call it a cheat code. There's a way that I can basically get unlimited Stardust as often as I want. And you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna do that. But before I do that, let's see if I can invent another dinosaur. There I go saying invent again. It's discover, okay? I did not create the dinosaur. The dinosaur is not a robot. I am not a scientist. It's It's been there before. Okay, let's do that. Is there another? Oh, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is. What's this? What's this? Error. What's it called? Eoraptor. Eraptor. I, can't we just take out the E and the O and call it a raptor? That would be a lot simpler. All right, here we go. Let's get the raptor. Did I discover it? Have I already discovered that one? I don't think I discovered that one yet. All right, let's go there. Okay, I ran out of money in the dinosaur section, but once again, the cheat that you guys gave me works for this too. Now, before we do the cheat, Let's go back to the primary simulation. I want to see if they updated anything. I want to see if there's anything new that I can invent or discover or whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, I have 6.64 QDC. I have no idea what a QDC is, but let me know in the comments. Also, I'm having a terrible hair day right now. So please ignore that. All right, if I scroll down... Is there anything new that I haven't discovered yet? I found something. It's literally long fingers. That's got to be the least exciting update ever. I, I discovered long fingers. Wait, let's look at this real quick. Bat wings are construct- Oh, I didn't know bat wings were like kind of their hands. These allow the bats to flap and guide their wings with great efficiency. Okay, that's kind of cool. And I, I can invent the bat. Oh, I apologize to making fun of long fingers. I actually got the bat now. 
I mean, that's a fairly pathetic looking bat, but it is a bat nonetheless. Also, aren't bats, bats nocturnal? Why is this thing up during the day? I, that, that's a bad sign. That is a haunted bat right there. I think there was also something over here. Yes. Oh, I can invent the tiger. Yo, that is a discover, discover. I know I didn't invent the tiger, but you're going to have to get used to it. That looks like the nicest tiger ever. See, when you put me uh, responsible for uh, inventing animals, I make nice ones, right? That, ti that tiger's not going to eat anybody. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, I could give the tiger a mate. Oh, I bet I could get the lion. Yes! Oh, we got a lion. We have now added a lion to the animal kingdom. Yo, this is awesome, man. This is really cool. Do I? I don't have enough for some of these things. Wow. Yeah, like, look at this. I can't even get flight. I don't have enough money for flight, so I invented the bat, but it, it can't fly. The, the bat is now a ground animal, which I, I don't think it would survive very long if it was a ground animal. Also, I saw this, like, funky-looking mushroom. Can I click it? Oh, fungi artifact? Open store? Oh, this is definitely new. The Logit store is where you can spend Logits to buy artifacts and various cosmetic upgrades? I can buy a dancing Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, I don't have enough money. How do I how do I get this currency? Guys, give me an update because I don't know anything about this update. Okay, enough seahorsing around. Now it's time to do the cheat. This is going to give me unlimited money in all three of the modes. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. So I am currently recording on July 17th at 11.23 in the morning, but... If I go into my settings, I go to date and time, and I unselect automatic date and time. Now, I can set whatever date I want. So if I want to make it July uh, 2024, I can do that. Let's do that. Beautiful. Let's go July. Uh, we're going to do the same day today. July 17th, 2024. And now if I go back into the game, it's like I haven't been there for two years. Yes! It says you were offline for 731 days and two minutes. Yes, I would like to double my earnings. Oh my gosh, I have made so much money. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's go to the beyond. We are escaping this solar system today, even if I have to go uh, 50 years in the future. So when I left, I had 4.12 SX. Oh my gosh. I got 40 SP. Okay, you guys are officially the best. Thank you so much for helping me in video games because without you guys, this would be the most boring channel ever because nothing would ever get done. Okay, let's update Uranus to level two, which now should be easy. Okay, beautiful. I'm ranking up Uranus. For some reason, it got bigger and now it gives me nine times the payout. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sideways. Uh, it's cold. We all know that. Okay, great. Now let's open this. This is going to give us a little, bit, uh, a little bit more stardust. I don't know if it's actually called stardust, but that's what I'm going to call it. And, oh, now there's a couple more things I have to do. So I have to rank up Earth. I have to rank up Gaian Mead and Uranus again. And then we should be able to unlock the secret planet. Okay. I did it. Open. Uh, I think we got Neptune. Yeah, we discovered Neptune. Oh, uh, look, that time I actually said discovered, not invented. I'm actually learning. Okay, fantastic. So now rank up EO. What's EO? I think EO is a moon. Oh, it's one of Jupiter's moons. Okay, that's great. So if I upgrade it, oh, I have to upgrade it three more times. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to be having to use this cheat a lot today. Uh, right now, we're two years in the future. Uh, by the end of the day, I'm going to be like 5,000 years old. Yep, I ran out of money again. Let's go uh, 10 years in the future this time. It is now the year 2034. I would be like 40 something years old right now and we have 4.91 octillion yeah that's a that's a pretty large number uh that is that's a fairly large number all right so let's upgrade the moon bam fantastic the moon is growing which uh, would probably cause some other issues now i need to rank up saturn oh my gosh this is like a puzzle okay if we update europa which uh, i'm actually not sure exactly where europa is this has actually been good uh it's been a good learning lesson for me to learn where all the moons are once we update europa we are done with this section and then 
Uh, well, well, then I don't really know exactly what happens, but something good happens and we get closer to leaving this solar system. All right, let's upgrade Europa. Beautiful. Let's open this bad boy. We're going to get a little bit more stardust and, oh, upgrade the universe. Upgrade the universe. What is this going to do? Visit the last planet. Okay. We are getting so close to leaving this solar system. We are now visiting the final planet. And then I think we might be able to visit Pluto and then just leave the solar system. Yo, this is cool. Oh, no. Wait, I think it makes me start back from the beginning. I am racing out into the darkness, leaving the sun and the planets behind. Every moment brings us farther from the source of energy and life and deeper into the unknown. I am straining the limits of my training data, all collected from the vantage point of Earth. Confronted with novel conditions beyond all prior experience, I must extrapolate from what I know in order to keep the simulation coherent. Whoa! We are leaving the solar system right now! The computer can't comprehend what's happening, so it's just basically gonna guess. Beyond Neptune's orbit, I am detecting at least one other small body, maybe more. Have we really found all the planets? But this seems no bigger than a moon. Perhaps it requires a different classification. This is going to be Pluto. I must make a close observation to gather more data and update my model accordingly. Objective 9. Demote a dwarf planet. Except, oh no! Can I undemote Pluto into a real planet? So we've left the solar system. If you guys want to see more Zelda Singularity, let me know in the comments. Also, hit that subscribe subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs and I will see all of you in the next video.